Hello and welcome to this week's waterhole cam. So it seems that I tempted fate last week by saying that things would return to normal this week because I decided to reformat my camera's memory card just to make sure it didn't run out while I was away camping and our internet connection disappeared halfway through the reformat and corrupted the card so it couldn't take any footage while I was away. So I decided to include some footage from the Kruger Park just to make sure there was something interesting to watch this week. This was a big friendly bull no doubt coming to welcome us to the park. I'm not sure what happened to his right ear but it's particularly ragged. This was at Khrutfle Dam between Shingwedzi and Mapani. This was a group of males that had separated from the females and babies and were having a whale of a time in the dam. Females and babies didn't have quite as much freedom as the males did in terms of having fun. They kept very close together and had a very structured playtime, doing well to keep the tiny babies out of the deeper water. This is the first time I've noticed that when male ostriches have their heads down with their tails up like that it actually looks like an animal standing up looking around which may well be some sort of defense mechanism to make predators think they're being watched. These crocodiles are at the causeway near Shingwedzi, just waiting at the water outlets for fish to come falling through right into their mouths. It seems that the older elephant bulls get the less they like being around humans, so you tend to find the bigger ones in areas that are fairly remote and you don't get too many tourists. This is on the Tropic of Capricorn Loop. Thank you. 
poking him in the face with his tusky. Just some good natured sparring. Looked like the younger one was getting the upper hand, but I think the older bull got a bit tired with the whole thing, and once he got going, the smaller one ran off. Got a little bit more serious, so he decided to beat a hasty retreat. The zebras and Egyptian geese photo bombing in the foreground. This is quite a young elephant bull. We found him on his own. And I think he was a little bit unsure of himself, so he tried to make up for it with some bravado, but it didn't work out the way I was expecting it to. By this point we should have been reversing down the road with him chasing after us, but that's not what happened and so he didn't quite know what to do. Plan B was a surprise assault from the bushes, which also didn't go according to plan. That was his big moment, but it didn't have the effect that he was hoping for. So he let the tree bounce back up and he quietly disappeared off into the bushes. And this is at what used to be in Shawu Dam. They destroyed the dam wall some years ago, but it seems that it still has a lot of water in, so I'm not quite sure what the point of that was. The Tropic of Capricorn Loop was like a miniature Serengeti, this huge open plain stretching for miles with thousands and thousands of wildebeest and zebra on it, as well as plenty of elephants and birds. back home with a new memory card and we got a surprise thunderstorm. We didn't get much rain, we just caught the edge of it. It rained very heavily to the east of us. Still some marulas left and that seems to be the only reason the elephants are coming here at the moment. Looks like uh, there are a lot of animals on a floodplain about a kilometer away from us and they have everything that they need there so there's no need for them to come here.
loyal tortoise is one of the few animals still coming to drink. The giant eagle came back for a visit. Seems that most of our toads have gone, but I have seen a baby bullfrog there, so it might be feeding on the bullfrogs. Unexpected visit from an African wild cat. I think it's the first cat we've had here in months. And that's it for this week.